Fukushima man. I should call myself Fukushima man. Fukushima man. This is the original logo. It's still the uh, the you see the M there. The M. It's Fukushima, not Fukushima. So anyway, Fukushima, Fukushima man. I came across. I'm gonna let you listen to this. This is an RT broadcast, Russia Today broadcast, and I'd like you to listen to uh, what they're saying. Have a listen. From our LA studio. Thanks so much, Ramon. Hey, thanks for having me, Abby. So, Ramon, before we even get into the sequestration stuff, let's talk about this nuclear site. Two days ago, I extensively covered the aspects of the site, but give us a sense of how bad Hanford. this really is, because I don't think the corporate media is really touching upon the extent of it. Sure. Well, I gave the Department of Energy a call earlier today. They've yet to respond. But what we do know, as uh, you mentioned in the intro, there are six uh, large tanks that are full of radioactive sludge are leaking right now. Now, uh, last week we got the word that there were six tanks. The week before that, the DOE was only saying that it was one tank. So there's some people wondering if there's more tanks leaking than the Department of Energy has been has revealed so far. What they have said is that up to 300 million gallons of... Huh? Huh? What? what, 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 what did, did you get that? 300 million gallons of... Of, uh, radioactive sludge may eventually 300 million gallons of radioactive sludge okay here's an alert keep listening to Ramon leak out of just one of these tanks one and we tank. have to remember that Hanford reservation there are 50 million gallons of nuclear 50 million gallons let's keep listening it's getting more interesting waste throughout the facility so there's still a lot of concern that uh, some of this nuclear uh, waste is going to be getting into into the soil and eventually uh, back into the Columbia River which has unfortunately suffered quite a bit of pollution from uh, the Hanford site. Unbelievable and also that the the bins to hold this nuclear toxic waste they expire in 20 years I mean we're talking about waste that does not decompose for millennia. I mean, we cannot get rid of this. So it's just absolutely insane to think of them storing it in these bins that expire. Ramon, let's talk about how much this costs. I mean, $115 billion price tag, of course, we know that's probably the lowest estimate. What she's saying is that the bins are going to expire. Their natural shelf life is 20 years, while the shit they carry inside is hundreds, thousands of years and uh, nobody is really paying attention. And it's, oh geez, in 20 years it'll all leak out. 50 million gallons of radioactive sludge in one nuclear facility, not all of America, all of the country, in one out of how many plants do they have? 140, 150 plants in the US, maybe more, 200, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's listen some more. What, what do these, what do these smart newscasters have? Possible until the year 2090. Of course, it's probably way more than that. I mean, let's talk about the sequester, though, and how this could affect this cleanup effort. Right. I mean, well, the governor of Washington has called this the, pretty, uh, the perfect radioactive storm. And it really is. When she said sequester, it has to do with the fact that uh, the fiscal cliff, all the financial woes, whatever the uh, place is going through down there, uh, they're going to start cutting funds about taking care of this nuclear, nuclear waste that's going to spill out into the rivers and uh, uh, the, uh, nuclear, the nuclear Armageddon is unfolding as we speak with millions and millions of gallons of this brutal stuff about to leak into the environment. And uh, at least our TV is uh, presenting something. Let's listen some more. When you take into consideration that just at the same time that we're hearing that these tanks are leaking sludge, uh, there's a possibility that the Department of Ed, uh, or the Department of Energy, excuse me, will have to furlough some of the workers that have been working at the Hanford Reservation furlough. in order to clean this thing up. Layoffs, and as you mentioned, the unemployment. Department of Energy is estimating that this project to uh, clean up the site 
will cost something along the lines of $115 billion till the year 2090. But that price tag could go up very easily. I mean, the, the price tag to build a plant to turn some of this sludge into a more manageable substance more has already manageable. gone over uh, $13 billion the budget, and it's way behind schedule, and costs continue to rise, uh, you know, which has really uh, caused a lot of concern uh, among Congress that are starting to question what, what it is that we're throwing that money at. $115 billion, billion to clean up one plant, and that is a low estimate as this Ramon a uh, newscaster is reporting on RT, 115 billion, one plant. Multiply that by 100 and you have one point uh, something trillion. Is it, is it, no, t times 10 is, is a uh, trillion, quadrillion. We're looking at quadrillion. It's a number I can't even conceive. It's got like uh, uh, from here to me walking home, if everything was uh, a bunch of zeros, you know, it's it makes no sense whatsoever. 115 billion dollars to clean up a plant, and they say nuclear energy is the most inexpensive clean energy. Well, if you eliminate the toxic sludge, if you eliminate the decommissioning, which costs 115 billion, conservatively speaking, nuclear energy becomes the nightmare of all nightmares because number one, it's not clean. Number two, it's not not inexpensive and number three some fat cats are filling their pockets and the planet is dying we are in intensive care Helen Caldicott has said Kevin Blanche has said people are out there warning us and nobody's paying attention so in the background you've got I've put up yeah this is uh, just a byproduct it's the salute yeah salute salute by the astronaut salute yeah goodbye up yours this is the salute this is the salute we got from the moon do uh, you want to hear a little bit more is there some more here absolutely and, and i think the thing that's most irritating to me ramon is hearing them talk about this 85 billion dollar cut as if it's the most serious thing in the world really a total drop in the bucket when you're looking at our trillion dollar deficit in this country you know we're hearing from everyone these defense cuts are going to be a do okay now she's going to go into defense cuts who gives a shit about the defense cuts yeah right whatever the situation is there my point i am just putting this out for someone rt uh rt tv on february 27th put this put this out for the public it's out there people it's out there it's not me ranting it's not some flake some art flake ranting some uh leukemia uh patient uh, ranting down in Utah or a doctor, a medical doctor, Caldecott, ranting and telling us things. This is coming out now on a major news network, the RT network, and talking about the, the truth, the real nature of this monster. 115 billion conservatively clean up for a site that is now potentially leaking 50, 50, 50 million gallons of sludge, radioactive sludge, radioactive sludge going in the environment on one plant, on one plant. Oh, I, I rest my case. I rest my case. If anybody hasn't, hasn't understood this yet, and I talk to people and they just sort of try to walk away from it, but there is no walking away from this anymore because it's real and it's brutal. It's ugly.